What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Everyday Carries Everyday Guy. We've got some gear to open today. Quite a nice big package from the fine folks over at SA Tactical Institute. So we're going to get to that. Before we get to that, I want to talk to you again. You guys have been asking me quite a ton about my plate carrier, right? Um, and before I go further guys, we all run the plate carrier. We want to run, I don't care what you have, you shouldn't care what I have unless it is dangerous or irresponsible to run a particular carrier. But what I do want to talk to you about is staging your carrier like you stage your tourniquet. It shouldn't take you more than 10, even 10 seconds is too much to get your overt setup on and good to go. So make sure you stage that sucker as you would stage a tourniquet, right? So that in the moment when you need it, it's ready and good to go. Um, the Global Phalanx Aspis, this is on my website. It's on my website for a couple of reasons. One, I know it is battle tested. Two, it is proudly South African. And three, I trust the people who trust it and who've trusted me with it. So um, the, the deal with, with overt setups is they are kind of like a fire extinguisher, a spare tire in your car. You know, it's the kind of thing that typifies everyday carry, which is it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And if you look at the way the world is going, look at Europe, look at Africa, I mean, look at Africa forever. Okay, it's we've always needed this kind of gear. It's just now that it's becoming more available and more mainstream. If you are by the means, definitely invest. If you're not by the means, consider investing in overt gear in order to maximize your own self-reliance and your ability to be your own first responder. Let's open a package. Strauss & Co. Strauss & Co, for those of you who don't know, are the makers of some of the most premium leather in South Africa, right? If you're looking for leather goods, if you're a person who likes stuff that patina really well, Strauss & Co are probably some of the best you're ever going to get your hands on. And their packaging is always absolutely legendary. Johan Strauss is an artist. He's also got a YouTube channel. I'll leave his YouTube channel linked down below as well as his store. I also sell some of these things on his store because it's South African, because I trust him and because I trust the product. Guys, as South Africans, we've got to start supporting our own. It's very important. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Firstly, we've got a mess on the floor, which Johan will have to answer. Ooh, Johan will have to answer to Michelle about. Look at that. How sweet is that? Man, he makes good stuff, eh? Like, there's just something about leather that's just other. Just look at this. Look at this card holder. That's freaking spectacular, right? His, his stuff is really, like, it was always good. But it's like just gotten better and better as time has gone by. That's freaking nice. That is really cool. As a, like a minimalist wallet card holder type thing. Very cool. Huge thank you to Johan Strauss. You'll definitely be seeing more of these things on my Instagram and Facebook profile. I'm actually running a different EDC today. Not Southwest Halsers. We're going to do the pocket dump at the end of the video. Um, let's open the next package. So I've got to be a bit careful here because this knife is really strong and I don't want to cut what's inside this package. This was sent to me by the fine folks over at SA Tactical Institute, another proudly South African product which as you're getting is a big deal guys. Sorry for the vehicle noises, it's just gone past five so people are getting home from work. Wow. This bag feels, Shoo. have you ever, have you ever felt an old army tent? This bag feels like that, those canvas tents. Ultilink. That's pretty cool. So what Ultilink is, is a, a method of securing um, gear to your 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 uh, molly webbing gear to you using these quick detach links. Those of you who know 
the ulti clip, um, that metal clip that allows for you to carry when you're not wearing a belt. These are the same people. Wow. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of things in here, so I'm going to have to fiddle with this before I show it on camera. Huge thanks to Ridwan. So this leads me on to another thing. It is time to start talking about bug out bags again, or bug in bags, or bug in setups, or bug out setups. Guys, this is on SA Tactical's web, SA Tactical Institute's website. It is a South African product, and I'm told that the task force are supplied by these guys, the people who make this bag. But this pack looks cool, right? Man. I do like a backpack. That's not bad. I think it's cool. Check it out on SATAC Institute's website. We're going to do the pocket dump uh, quickly. If I can get this off, I should have loosened the straps. There we go. Let's do the pocket dump. And then we can end off. Okay, so left pocket. Jet Beam BC20 with Thyrum switchback um, clip, belt, core essentials in multicam. A change of holster today. We are running the Bravo concealment holster for the Streamlight TLR7A. Let me just put this back on. Streamlight TLR7A. And I'll explain why in a second, as well as the Bravo Concealment Mag Carrier, the knife is <coughs> Sir Vivi Brigand, and the pen is just a standard steel battle pen because my Nightcore pen's ink ran out. Oh, in the left rear pocket, we are running the Leatherman Scally tool. So, guys, we are reviewing. Bravo concealment this weekend. Um, I have all of the holsters. I'm going to mainly review their light bearing stuff because I've reviewed their non light bearing stuff already. I've got this in inside and outside the waistband. Um, so we're going to be taking a look at Bravo concealment and seeing what's what with them and how they compare. Bravo concealment are probably one of the only companies who can make an appendix holster without a claw with a torsion technology. But I'll talk to you about that on Sunday. Guys, I'll see you on Sunday for the review. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.